Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I don't really have any good news, but we're going to be talking about the possibility of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Black Widow getting delayed again, and why we haven't and aren't going to get a Venom 2 trailer anytime soon. If you're new to the channel, I do daily Marvel videos, so be sure to subscribe to never miss out. Now let's get started. A connection between the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision has been found, which could mean that the Disney Plus shows will get delayed. According to the cast list on IMDb, Shane Berenge will appear in the first, third, and fourth episodes of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier as both a German SWAT member and a German prison guard, but he'll also later appear in WandaVision episodes 4, 5, and 6 as a tactical sword agent. So although the Falcon and the Winter Soldier resume filming this week, it has at least two weeks left in Atlanta, then it has to finish its last 9 to 14 days in Prague. Plus apparently, WandaVision has a few reshoots left as well, so it doesn't seem to be completely finished like we previously thought. And Disney's releasing The Mandalorian Season 2 in October, so if The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is finished by the end of October and released in November, with WandaVision shortly after in December, that would be three huge Disney shows releasing a few weeks after each other, and in January the content drought would pick back up. So if this is true and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier has to come out before WandaVision, because this character will play a decent sized role in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then go on to become a sword agent in WandaVision, then the Disney Plus shows will have to be pushed back to early next year, so that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier can release first, followed by WandaVision keeping the continuity in order and leaving enough time in between each show so that the episodes can release weekly. Next, at the Bank of America's 2020 Media Communications and Entertainment Conference, Sony Pictures Entertainment Chairman Tony Vincera talked about their plans for Sony Spider-Man movies coming in 2020, 2021, and the future, saying what we won't do is make the mistake of putting a very expensive $20 million movie out on the market, unless we're sure that theaters are open and operating at a significant capacity. Then he said you'll see a lot of strange things happen over the next six months in how films are released, how they're scheduled, and how they're marketed. But once we get back to normal, we'll have learned a lot and found ways to do things that are somewhat different and hopefully better. So what Sony basically said is that they won't release movies until they know they can make their money back. So pretty much until theaters are open in full capacity and people feel safe enough to return. But until then, we're not getting a new trailer for Morbius or a trailer for Venom 2. And this brings me to the last topic, which is that it seems like Marvel is thinking about doing the same thing with Black Widow. Because the New Mutants and Tenet made $7 million and $20.2 million respectively in their opening weekend, studios are hesitant to release their films. So like I've been saying, it would be the most obvious option for Disney to give us a hybrid release for Black Widow on Premiere Access on Disney Plus and in theaters. However, according to a new report from Deadline, Wonder Woman 1984 might get delayed again, and due to Black Widow's uncertain release, it could take its place. Now let me break down why this makes absolutely no sense, and would be such a bad move on Marvel's part to delay Black Widow again. First, if Wonder Woman gets delayed, it most likely won't take Black Widow's place, because Black Widow is currently still coming out on November 6th. So until Marvel confirms that Black Widow is delayed, Wonder Woman can't take its place. And if Marvel decides to delay the entire Phase 4 slate again, moving Black Widow to the Eternal spot on February 12th, 2021, it would be because they don't think November 6th is a viable release date. And if Wonder Woman takes its place, it'll most likely get delayed again. And if it doesn't get delayed and releases on November 6th, then why would Marvel delay it in the first place? It just doesn't make sense to me. Second, Premiere Access on Disney Plus is just as viable an option as releasing the movie in theaters, as if you look at any reviews from Mulan, you'll be able to see how much people hated the movie. But it still made $33.5 million, with 1.12 million households watching the movie on its opening weekend, so that number could easily be doubled or tripled for Black Widow, and that's only for its opening weekend, which is already more than both Tenet and the New Mutants combined. So I think that no matter what Marvel does, whether release the movie on Premiere Access or in theaters, people are going to complain. But if they delay the entire Phase 4 slate again, everyone will be furious, especially if they make the mistake of giving up the November 6th release date to Wonder Woman. But let me know what you guys think about all this. What do you think is going to happen with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Black Widow? Will they get delayed? And if not, when do you think they'll come out? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.